boy, I can sure use a good shave. Not too long ago, I reviewed a product called the Tech Shaver. Do you remember that? It looked like this. It was from Bell & Howell. If you haven't seen that video, it's okay. I'm actually going to link it at the end, so just wait through this video, and then I'll let you click that one at the end. Um, I had a product sent to me by an Amazon distributor, and it's, called, it's by a product by a company called Fisco, and it's a razor. And I thought, huh, that looks neat. I kind of like the way it looks. Doesn't that design just look cool? Um, it looks to me like a mix between the Matrix and, like, Star Wars. Now, I get products from time to time. Some of them I review, some of them I don't. It just depends on if it fits into my niche or genre. I actually like the way this one looks, so I decided to review it. I will say, however, I am not sponsored whatsoever by the company. Anyway, this is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. My channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I think it's a lot of fun. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click that bell so you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. Now, let's take a closer look at the Fisco Razor to see if it's any good. So I was able to find the Fisco Razor on Amazon. It retails for about $40, which is an okay price point for a razor. Um, as I was doing some research on their website there, on the Amazon page, I noticed that it could work in a meter of water. So I have a mason jar here. They said it could work in a meter of water for up to 30 minutes, but we're just going to test it out. Let's do an unboxing. All right. So right on the top, we see some directions, user guides, and some notices. And then it looks as though a warranty card. Oh, look at this. I like the way this is wrapped and packaged. That's pretty nice. So I have the razor here. We'll set that to a side. I've got a, a USB charger. Look at that. It's a micro USB. Very smart. I don't know if you remember from my tech shaver video, but it had a custom shaver core just for that. You couldn't replace it. All right. So I have a cleaning brush, I have a bag, and then I have the razor. All right, let's take a look at it. You know what? I really like how they continued the impressive sleek design from box to how it was box in itself, and now to the razor. This looks nice. I like the silver tone on black, it's shiny on matte, and then more shine here. Um, of course, we have three heads on the top. Let's turn it on to see if we have any charge. Whoa, I didn't even know it had a digital screen. Cool. Um, I don't know if you noticed that, but that says 100%. Normally, I have to spend the next eight or so hours charging something, but this is ready to go. All right, well, since it's ready, let's dunk it in our jar. All right, here we go. I'm going to take this cap off, turn it on. Let's just go heads down just for fun. Ooh. Well, that's pretty cool. It's still running. Now, I'm not going to leave it in there for the full 30 minutes. I just like to do this test as a little gimmick. Let's go shave. I know you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover, right? But I'm trying so far not to let what I've seen skew my opinion of the Fisco Razor. But I like it already. I already said I love the way the box was. It was sleek. It was stylish and it was sweet looking. Then when I unboxed it and I revealed this awesome little razor and it came with a 100% battery charge from the factory. Who does that? Who? What products come with 100% charge? Um, so I'm looking forward to it. But the proof will be in the pudding, so to speak. Um, I'm going to try this shaver function out first. I'm going to try to shave this hair down right to the skin to see how it does. If you saw my Bell & Howell Tack Shaver review video, I use this little part too. And it didn't do, actually it didn't do well at all. Um, so I'm a little skeptical, but we're going to go check out the shaver and razor function right now. I'm ready to try out the Fisco razor shaver. Okay, so the way I have this set up is two ways. One, you can see me shaving in the mirror here, but you can also get the back view here as I'm shaving. I'm going to try the razor portion here, or is it the shaver portion? I guess that's the shaver portion. This part right here for trimming, and then I'll do the razor part second. Um, I do always carry a trash can with a bag in it. Some people ask why. I just don't like to clean up a mess afterward. So let's turn it on. Right. Here we go.
Well, I don't know if you can tell, but it is cutting. It's actually cutting pretty well. Oh, you can see it right there. Keep going. So I'm gonna let you look at that real quick. See how that just trimmed that down really nice? It didn't hurt, it trimmed it really, really nice and I'm pretty impressed with that. So here's the point where I'm gonna ask you for some input. What do you think? Would you rather have the Fisco razor or the Bell & Howell tack shaver? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Now for the moment of truth, the actual razor function. I've sh shaved this side out. I haven't done this side yet. Um, I've provided the same angle, so hopefully I can promote the same level of view. But let's go and see how this does shaving. Um, in past, I've had bad experiences with electric razors because it pulls the hair out. But let's see how this does. See that? Wow, do you see that? It is smooth, very impressive. Not even any real feel of stubble afterward. I like this razor. I still wanna try it out to see how it works as a wet shaver because they said that's an option. So let's look into that. So now I'm gonna to try to do a wet shave. So here we have it on this side. I am gonna use my left hand, even though I'm right-handed, just to keep my hand out of the picture. So let's try it out. And again, I do like the wet shave better because it is going smoother. Even though it wasn't bad on this side, it just seems to glide when I use the wet shave. All right, now let's clean this thing out. So the cool thing about this, what you do first, pop the top. And the hair that needs to come out comes out, right? A little bit left, but it's okay. Then you can just run it under the faucet. Rinse it right out like that. All the hair comes right off. Just like that, you let it dry and you are done. Can you tell that I finished? I know you can. Um, I just wanted to give you a little bit of my experience as I was shaving. So you saw it, it was shaving good. I did notice if the if it was more than stubble, like a little thicker than stubble, the razor part had a hard time going through it. So I actually had to use um, the trimmer part to trim my hair down to a stubble length. And then it just cut through like nobody's business. Um, the wet shave when I used the cream worked much better than when I did it dry. They both worked fine, but I noticed with the shaving cream part, it just glided over my skin with the greatest of ease. I didn't even know. On the other side, I could feel it. I knew it was cutting. It didn't hurt, but I just wanted you to know I think the wet side did a whole lot better. I like that it's easy to clean as well. That really meant a lot to me. So I noticed after my first shave, I'm down to 91% battery, which is pretty good. 
when this is charging, you'll see the illuminated number. This is the percentage of the battery. When the battery is under 10%, this red blinking battery symbol will be, of course, red. When it's over 10%, it'll be white, same color as the numbers. It's time to wrap up this review. We've been looking at the Fisco Intelligent Razor. And during this, I've been comparing it to Bell & Howell's Tack Shaver. So now I want to give a little bit of a head-to-head. -head. Even though it wasn't a comparison, I just want to show you the difference in size, right? Tack Shaver. Here's Fisco's Intelligent Shaver. There is a difference. This is about twice the size. If you look at the shaving heads, um, Fisco has that again. Now... If people want portability and small, this may be what you want. But to be honest with you, they're about similar weights, right? So I couldn't really tell you which one was heavier without using the scale, but they feel the same. Um, I will say when I ran this completely dead, it ran for one hour and 45 minutes and then it went kaput. So then I plugged it into a charger and it took less than an hour to completely refill this battery to 100. That's something I wanted you to know. That's pretty impressive. Um, one, the battery power, and two, the speed. This It does have fast charging. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link the website for this company down in the description, also the Amazon link. And just in case you guys were wondering, they sell replacement blades. They sell replacement blades. We couldn't find those for the tack shaver. Now, maybe they'll come out, but they're not there now. This was Jeff with Jeff Reviews for you. As always, thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. Oh wait, I forgot. Don't leave yet. I'm going to link a video for you. I promised you. It wouldn't be fair to compare two razors if I didn't show you the other razor. Click on this link. It's the Tack Shaver Razor Review that I did not that long ago. Click on it right here. I'll see you there. Go ahead. It's safe. I promise.